Saeed, you're also an international activist on behalf of the Yazidi people, and in our discussions, you revealed to me that though there are bigger communities now growing in Germany, etc., 80% of the Yazidi community are still living in tents in northern Iraq and have been there for nearly four years. What do you want to see from the international community? Well, again, I'm not going to give you something like a beautiful speech or a diplomatic way. I'm going to give you some facts. If we come back to the few years ago, same summit, Geneva Summit for Human Rights and Democracy, I think it's from about five or 10 years, there were three persons invited to this summit. All three of them are Yazidis. 2016, Vian Dakhil, a Yazidi woman, she, she was here. In 2017, Shuin and today Farida, what is shocked, all three of them, they ask for the same things. That's mean, not a lot have been changed. When Vian asked for the same things, and Shuin and Farida today, the same numbers are still the same. About 80% of Yazidi people still live in IDP camps. There is no real actions to rebuild their areas. Areas and mass of Yazidi village in Sinjar and near Sinjar are not protected. It's not safety there. Mass graves are still not protected. Survivors are still in captivity. That's mean as a human being, we should feel shameful. An international leader should feel shameful. When the same girl is saying, asking for the same things like 100 times, there are many Faridas in the Yazidi community. Until when they will ask you for the same thing, it's time to wake up. It's enough to sleep. It's a message to international community. It is a message to uh, all the readers. If you can do something, I don't know when. So if you listen to Farida, I hope next year Farida or somebody else will come and thank for the actions that you did and will be grateful for the actions that you have already did. And she will not talk about the same tragic story, but she will say thank you that you did all this good thing. I hope we will see that. The words of Said Suleiman and Farida Abbas Khalaf. Thank you very much.